Chaz Burks here with Go Guitar Live, and today we're going to do Lana Del Rey's Blue Jeans. This is actually pretty easy. It's only three chords, but I'll show you the little riff at the beginning, uh, especially if you're playing on acoustic guitar, just some easier chords to play uh, in the same key, of course, as the song. And, uh, well, let's just get started. How about that? Okay, first thing you need to know, capo on the third fret, right there, right behind the third fret. And uh, I'm going to play up here so you can see me strum. Okay, so I don't want to play back there so you can't see what I'm doing with this hand. So I'm going to play up here, which you normally wouldn't. You only need to know three chords of the song, but before we do that, we're going to start with that little riff at the beginning of the song. Now, like I said, this is the, the acoustic version, so I believe they do that down here um, without a capo, but it's the same exact notes and it's going to be a lot easier when you start strumming to uh, play that. So this is just a bit higher than what they would normally play in the actual record, but it works and it's the same thing. So here we go. So we're gonna start with the uh, D string open. Okay, we're gonna play second fret on the G string. We're gonna go first fret on the B string. E strings open. And then we're gonna go third fret on the uh, second string, the B string. And then you, you wait, so that's... Okay, then there's one little note they throw in right before they start the song, and it's right up here. So it's um, your second fret on your A string, second to last string. You can listen to it, it sounds out of place, but it really, it's the note, I guarantee it. Okay, so now we can actually start strumming. So there's only three chords in the song, and my goodness, it's so easy. Even through the little, I don't know, the little rap, it's not really a rap, but it's the, the weird bridge at the end. So, uh, it's the same chords all the way through. It's amazing how easy this song could be for people. So we're gonna do an, a D minor. If you don't know that one, it's just the first fingers on the first fret, first string. You're going to take your third finger, put it on the third fret of the second string. And then you're going to take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the third string. And you don't strum the top two strings, you only strum from the D string down. Okay. Next is going to be a C. Hopefully you guys know a C chord. And then the last chord's a G. Next you're going to play two Gs. So if we count that out, we're going to go D minor. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See, it's kind of slow. One, two, C, four, G, two, and G, four. So G gets tw uh, twice as long as the D minor and C. So let's work on the strumming now. Down, 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 up, okay? So one, two, and a one, or three and four, whatever. One, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a So if you want to practice that strumming, just mute your strings, pretty straightforward, and you're just going to run your pick just like that. One, two, and a one, two, and a one. Two, and you just count like that, it's a little bit easier than that in the three and four in there. It's technically the same thing, so. Pretty straightforward. I think that's an easy, um, easy little song that just about any beginning guitar or higher could learn. Um, if you have any questions, post them below, and hopefully I can get to them. Um, other than that, good luck, guys. Uh, hope that was fun and uh, educational for you.